Hello everyone, it is your boy, back at it again with another video, and this time we are going to be talking about Joe Cobb. Who is he exactly? So, let's jump right into the video. So, Joe Cobb is a powder ganger, and we first meet him in the Prospector Saloon after we're done helping Sunny smile. So, whenever you're done the tutorial, that's when Joe Cobb shows up. Done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? So, he's dropping on the conversation. We learn that Joe Cobb is looking for an, a man named Ringo. And he thinks he's hiding somewhere in town. Trudy ain't budging, obviously. And doesn't give up any information. So, Joe Cobb leaves. We'll see what uh, Trudy has to say about the whole situation. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. So we learned that Trudy knows where Ringo is and know who he is. He's a traitor and a survivor of an attack. Let's see what else she has to say. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. So, we learned from Trudy that the powder gangers are convicts from California that came down to work on the rail lines. There was a prison not too far from here, but they recently escaped using the dynamite provided from, to them by the NCR. Now, they're harassing traders and local towns and all this stuff using the dynamite and the available resources. So, just going up the road, we can find Joe Cobb chilling out at one of the houses, still in Good Springs. So if you wanted to talk to him, he's right here. What do you want? Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Never been there since the NCR has got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. So here we find out that Joe Cobb knows about the Legion and the NCR. But they're fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Because he personally has never been there. Because the NCR has troops all over the place. Which is understandable. I've run with some tough gangs. But I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. And I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing. But I'll be staying out of their way. So here we learn a few things. One, Joe Cobb knows about the Legion, but only rumors and all this and this and that. Also, that he has run with gangs before in the past. It's probably a good, a good reason why he's incarcerated because he's been in gangs and all this stuff. Pretty tough ones, apparently. But he he's a little nervous about the Legion. You can tell by his facial expression and the way he talks. But at the end, he says, I ain't scared of them or nothing. Yeah, you are. Because he heard that the Legion puts you on poles and it takes a while for you to die. He doesn't want that fate, obviously. So, yeah, a little interesting. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave. But it's a big desert, so it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. So here we find out that Joe Cobb doesn't like the NCR, obviously, because he's been incarcerated by them. But we find out that he doesn't really like the bureaucracy of it, the money, the power, and all this stuff. He doesn't like being pushed around, obviously, but especially by NCR. He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. So Joe Cobb is talking about ter territory and his territory, and a bunch of traders going to to it and not paying the toll. 
there was a shootout, Ranko survived, and he's hiding somewhere in town. We can actually find a shootout between Good Springs and Sloan, and I'll show you right now. So, going down the street towards Sloan, we see a, a bunch of wreckage, and a Crimson Caravan guard, and a bunch of powder gangers. This is obviously Rango's, Ringo's Crimson Caravan caravan that's been hit. Obviously, Ringo survived the in interaction and made it to Good Springs, but the rest of the Crimson Caravan didn't make it. So that's really unfortunate. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. So going back to Joe Cobb, he's one of the escaped convicts, like I said, so nothing new here. None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Like I said, mind your own damn business. So I tried asking him, what was he in prison for? A really important question. But me being a very persuasive man, I got it out of him. Robbed some people, burned some things, killed a few guys. So there we have it. In conclusion, Joe Cobb is a, a robber, a thief, a arsonist, and a murderer. So not a very good man. He's an escaped convict, and now he's harassing local traders like the Crimson Caravan, and now trying to muscle into his way into this town. You can side with him to take over the town, but I decided not to because that's not cool. And actually ended up killing him, and yeah, that's how that ended. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out, players.